my friends welcome to another walk in the park here video <laughs> Today I want to talk about drumming and your health. Since I am, I am noticing that uh, a lot of folks responded to the, the video I just did about not playing for a while and one of the major things they cited was health issues that stopped them from drumming. Now as you can imagine, you know, <laughs> I've been around for a while now, a long time, I've been playing for 40 years professionally basically. and. Uh, you know, I've seen my friends go, th go through all kinds of stuff. Health issues, let's face it, you know, I hate to say it, but problems with drugs and alcohol, the music scene is, is rife with those kind of problems. I've seen them recover and I've seen them die, unfortunately. I've had many friends that have uh, been through a lot of problems with that. So, you know, I'm no doctor obviously I'm not a therapist counselor or anything like that but I have had experience with thousands of players all over the world and being in the position that I'm in I'm I'm able to to kind of be a part of their lives in a way maybe that's not so common you know through music and uh it, it's something that that really teaches you a lot as a, as a person you know uh and it and, and uh, you learn a lot about human human beings and their behavior of course you know just like any career in the arts most likely but uh, uh i think one of the hardest things to go through is a health problem mental problem you know you know drugs and alcohol and stuff like that's really tough man and, and the music business doesn't help it's so whacked that uh, it causes a lot of problems so uh, you can imagine I've seen a lot of this stuff now all I'm gonna propose here is that you try to take a proactive approach to your health so that your drumming and your life can benefit but if you can't do it for your life man do it for your drumming you know I do a lot of yoga and there's there's this thing uh, in yoga where you where you dedicate your daily practice to something so, or someone and uh, that's that's done uh, through a slight meditation and things like that now if you can't get the energy to do it for for yourself you know try to do it for those around you for somebody around you or you know something outside of yourself but whatever you do do a little bit of exercise even if it's walking you know even if it's a well whatever yoga something now I know drumming is 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 very important for exercise
it's a very physically stimulating uh, instrument especially you know certain genres are more than others but but you know I've seen a lot of great players with weight problems and you know that obviously you know you know who 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 these guys are they're just tremendously overweight and in that in those cases you know drumming is like not enough so I I think you should consider you know taking uh, working out as a part of your drumming career almost because if you're not able to have stamina and drumming it's gonna affect your drumming now, I'm not saying you know I have to be a like you know, the, a track in a football field you know I, I'm not saying that you have to go all out but at least something you know something to get your body moving to get yourself uh, in a position where your mind can be fresh for drumming too as you know, I don't have to tell you guys, a lot of you guys here on the channel are very experienced players. But, uh, you know, drumming is, a, is, is, is a, like a dopamine factory, you know, but so is exercise. And uh, it directly benefits your drumming to do some kind of exercise. Now, believe me, I'm saying this out of the, the most caring uh, place that I, that I possibly can. Like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a doctor, but I, but I have seen people's life change because they play you know i've seen drumming save the lives of people who are massively depressed and and going through you know horrible things in their life and they start to play and they come alive again you know i've, I've seen drum circles in in corporate uh, situations you know where you got all these people that have mundane really boring lives and you put a, a djembe in front of them and their face changes you know <laughs> i've seen that it's incredible like incredible and then they leave energized and they can go about their lives a little bit more relieved but we have the privilege of having an instrument in our life like that that gives us the daily dopamine and and this type of incredible energy you know it's a blessing it's oops <laughs> it's a real blessing but you know you you kind of got to complement that with some kind of a exercise routine i work out a lot you know i i work out every day one or two hours a day sometimes i skip a few days or whatever it's not like i haven't had you know injuries either i got a i got a, a hernia a, a, a belly hernia from doing too much uh, 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 squats you know out of control i got a sometimes a little shoulder pain from not having the correct form and stuff like that but nothing nothing uh stops me from keeping that side together right so i i would urge you guys to to figure out something to do to complement your drumming in that area you know maybe get a trainer or or watch youtube for some something that gives you some kind of activity maybe even you know take a I, I was I was doing scuba diving for a while. I used to surf, you know, anything that gets you your body moving. Because in the end, it's going to benefit your drumming, and and that's what we're all about on this channel. Whatever we do, it's for the benefit of your drumming and music. Like I said, man, I'm not, I'm no health expert, but what I see is from real life what I've seen many cats go through, and I and I can tell you that that uh, having some exercise in your life will make a big difference. So I hope you'll you'll take those words and and do something. Cause it, it breaks my heart, you know, to see cats pass away from from uh, things that could be preventable. So anyway, it's a little dark out here today. And uh, I, I hope you, were, I hope you were able to see me. And uh, it's, uh, you know, winter time in California. I'm soon gonna be leaving California, so I'm gonna be doing another video about that. And uh, 
thanks for watching again and all you guys thanks for the super thanks and for joining the lesson site i really appreciate all you guys and the beautiful words you've been writing here on the videos okay my friends peace Thank you.